dedication of Veterans Tribute Tower began yesterday, with school children and veterans helping to create a bell for the tower during a ceremony. The community began building the bell with the help of Vernon, a business literally on wheels out of Ohio, that can build the bells with and in front of audiences. The event was designed to salute the past, honor the present, and inspire the future. With Williamsburg Christian Academy students taking part in the event, bypassing ingots for the bell, and veterans Mike Dudash Sr. and Joe Bruni, World War II vets, pouring sand they had been given from the beach of Iwo Jima into the mixture that will become the bell. But for President Harry Walters, the tribute meant more. It meant the beginning of a community made up of veterans and their families who could also help other veterans in need, especially our newest vets who are integrating back into society. You have men and women who have served as many as 10 tours in the war on terror. They, they come home not to an army base, they come home to their houses. They come home to their community. And when they come home, they're not always well. Freedom is not free, and their wellness is not provided. And they won't talk about it, because they're proud soldiers, men and women who fight on a fighting force. Walters believes the event will bring veterans together to help each other through difficult times as they readjust back to life at home. This is to get the community, you know, at least together, thinking like mine. And now that we have that, we can begin to find the resources, find the, the, the individual soldiers, and make sure that we're making contact with the same lives. There are events today and Saturday for the dedication of the bell and to honor the veterans. The bell will be available for everyone to see in Newtown. Find out more about the event or how you can get involved in helping veterans in the historic triangle by visiting wydaily.com. Reporting for WI Daily, I'm Sam Thrift.